Hey guys, what's up, Pixels here, and in today's video, I'm giving you my new best leader, Ash, build on Evil Dead, the game. I've spent a lot of time playing this character. Um, it's a lot different from my previous best uh, leader, Ash, build that I've had on my channel. So uh, let's begin anyway. So the first one that we're going to do is just put three points into Great Influence. Uh, I don't normally like to put three points into this, but we'll get towards the end of the build, and I'll discuss what else you could put the extra point in instead. Uh, so then we're just going to put a point in Cardio. One point in awful dodge and then three points in industrial strength, which is then going to open up more tiers for us to use. Uh, we're going to put a point in arcane knowledge and then put a point in quicker cooldown. Then we're going to max out master of influence and then we're going to max out fast forward as well. So with El Jefe, the main thing is obviously is giving the buffs to the team and not only that, but he will be given uh, faster objective events as well, which is really, really strong at the moment. Uh, you know, speeding, speeding through objectives is, is a must right now, I feel like. And, you know, putting fast forward on this guy's build really helps out. So we have seven points left. So we're just going to put three points into seeing stars. Obviously, balance bar damage is quite weak right now. Um, but with this guy, you need to spam the finishes as much as possible. So uh, maxing that out with, obviously, uh, three skill points is much better. And then we're going to put four points into devastating force. So uh, I have been playing around with builds a lot. And the main thing is going for tougher than hell as well. But the problem is, is that you've got to go through these three skills right here and then putting three points into that. So it's kind of costing six points just to get a 10% damage reduction, which which to me can be worth it on some leaders, but not on El Jefe. So uh, I decided just to go for the Devastating Force instead. So that way we can actually uh, get the finishes a lot easier and a lot faster on this guy because that is the primary target thing to do for El Jefe. And so obviously just spamming finishes and objectives is very strong. So we're going to go back to Great Influence. So like I said, uh, you can get 10 meters or 12.5 meters. So if I take a point out of that, I just like to put it in Artful Dodger because that helps my survivability just a little bit. Not a huge amount at all, um, but it does help with the dodging uh, a little bit as well. As you know, leaders can tend to be a little bit squishy. So having like, you know, just a little faster dodge uh, with the stamina regeneration, it does help out a little bit. So it's up to you if you just want to put a point in Artful Dodger or spending a point in 12.5. I'd say it probably is, you know, if you're playing with a team, going for the 12.5 and Great Influence is probably better, but... You know, if you do find yourself playing with randoms, then, you know, putting the extra point in Awful Dodger will help you out just a little bit. So, uh, yeah, this is a really great build. So, with the pink fuck upgrades, what we do spend in is stamina first. We get the three points into stamina. And then I usually go for health just to buff up my leader health a little bit. Because, you know, you don't really need to max out uh, melee or ranged. Because, you know, melee, you only get really like a 12% buff and then a 5%. Uh, extra attack speed which is not massive but it does help out a bit but the main thing is stamina health uh you know me melee damage and then i go for fear on this guy because maxing this guy's fear out and you know reducing your your fear threshold and stuff uh, is very helpful during game as well so this has been my new best leader ash build i hope you guys enjoy it uh, I've been playing with this build quite a lot, and I do really enjoy doing this build. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I love playing this character, and he needs more love, to be honest, because I don't see a lot of people playing him. Him being, like, one of the most iconic characters from Evil Dead. So uh, a lot of people should be spending more time playing him. Uh, unfortunately, you know, his ability's not great. Uh, so that's why we just don't go for the quicker cooldown on that. But like I said, once you've combined and master of influence with, you know, spam and finishes and having fast forward, he can be really, really powerful against demons. So uh, not only that, obviously buffing up people's fear threshold, uh, the fear resistance, sorry, you can buff that up to around 48% with master of influence, which is good. And then obviously the 15% damage goes up to 18%. But every time you do a finisher, that goes up to a, a nice 36% uh, as well, which is really good. So uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button if you're new to the channel. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this build as well. And I've been Pixels, you're my awesome viewers. I'll catch you guys in the next one.